Today, Kevin and Andrew and I are going to be trying four of the Montezuma's candy bars. Montezuma. Um, these were bought, I'm pretty sure we were at a rest stop um, in England somewhere. Uh, I have no idea where. And there's no telling how much I paid for these. Probably a lot. I'm not sure. I have the Great British Apple Crumble Pudding Bar. Pudding? And the Treacle Tart Pudding Bar. And a Lemon Meringue, a dark chocolate with Lemon and Meringue Pudding Bar. Which Andrew loves the lemon. And what do you have, Andrew? And this one is a... Eaton. 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 Eaton mess. Eaton mess. Eating mess. You're eating a mess. No. Uh, milk eating chocolate mess. with strawberry and meringue. Ooh, that sounds good. So, what should we try first? You want to just do triacle tart? Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> triacle tart pudding bar bars. The milk chocolate with toffee and hazelnut nibs. That's what it is. There is a description on the back, but that's basically what it is. Milk chocolate with toffee and hazelnut nibs. And it gives you a reason that they came up with it. And they're in, they're completely, um, Oh, wow. Um, sealed. Sealed. Like, like they say, those. like they say, this is, uh, served at the annual cricket match between Eaton and, Win Eaton and Winchester. In Winchester. Yeah, beautiful British summertime pudding. Good size bar. This is a very good size bar. And it has a big star on it. It's uh, it's the size of like a uh, a lint. Uh... No, you broke that so funny. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's four across. You mm -hmm. broke it into six. Or eight. The top, you broke it, it the top of it doesn't have any perforation. Mm -hmm. It's just a big no. star. The top of it's not. Um, perforated. So I had to break it like this. That's good. I'm going to have a close-up at the end. Um, this one... I, I really didn't, didn't get to taste the hazelnuts. It was more like crunchy pieces. Mm -hmm. Yes, the hazel... the um, topping. And it had a little bit of a bitter flavor. Oh. Yeah, you're, so the crunchiness was the toffee. Yeah, yeah the you're toffee. getting the toffee. Yeah. I, I, didn't little, any, I didn't get much hazelnut at did all. Did you get a bitter, a little bit of yes. a bitter flavor? The, the, the chocolate was too. not as milk as it should have been. It was a yeah. little dark for my taste. When it, or it could have been the hazelnuts giving a little. No, bit not dark for my taste, but I liked it. I, I like, it. I like the candy like bar. Milk. Uh, you know what? It does not have calories anywhere on here. Huh, that's interesting. That is weird. I mean, that is totally weird. It's www.montezumas.co.uk. Yeah, maybe it's inside the box. Um, it has, um, mm -hmm. it tells you what it's made of. It tells allergens, but it does not give, I guess you'd have to go to the website. Okay, Andrew, what do you have? What are we going to try from you? I thought you had to have the calories. I thought you not, did too. And even, there. even there, they, they always do. Milk chocolate with strawberry and meringue. Oh, you can smell the strawberry. <laughs> wow. It looks the same. It's dark. That's amazing. That's what I meant. Why didn't you break it in a row and then break the three off? That's what I meant. Do you hear him complaining? Oh, huh? why? It's the same. Wow. Who tastes the strawberry? That's for sure. That's not good <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's awful. And it tastes, it tastes like, like natural strawberry. communion juice. No, it's not that bad. Yes, it does. It's not that bad. It tastes just they like... They even got pieces of the wafers in there. <laughs> it tastes just like communion juice. It really does. I don't think it's that bad. I like it. Yeah, but it's too well, strong. It's too strong. Well, I liked it better than the first one. Remember that commercial me and you loved back in the day with that fat, cheap kid that did the Welsh's commercial? Yeah. Well, the little girl. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Oh, the little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, yeah, I don't like that. Anything about that? Okay, this is the apple it's crumble. Just, it's just not good. It's an <laughs> apple it's crumble pudding bar with Peruvian milk chocolate with apple and biscuit. So apple and a cookie. Apple and cookie. Apple. You break it so I can complain about it. Yeah, yeah. Give you something to talk about. As long as we don't get Montezuma's Revenge from Montezuma Candy Bar, we'll be alright. Well, this is 
identical to the last one, but it's apple juice. Yeah. I need to get an apple one, really. A little bit. You get a, a, a green apple? Mine's literally like an apple juice. Yeah. I, I a get, little bit. And I, yeah. it, it's just okay. I kind of sort of like it. Do you? I don't know. good. I like that you don't taste it as much. No, I'm glad he likes it. That way he can take it home. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't Andrew will take this one. I don't want to take it. The last one is lemon meringue. Dark chocolate with lemon and meringue. This one I want Andrew to like the best. No, sure. Hopefully the dark chocolate is so dark that it covers the lemon. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's snappy. Yeah, see how snappy that is? Yeah, that's a dark one right there. Does not cover the lemon. Not at all. <laughs> Pretty dark chocolate though. Mm. It's only seventy percent, guys. The chocolate's too dark for me. It's almost dry. It almost dries your mouth out, out of your to mouth. where you feel like you need a drink. You ever had a ninety? Yeah, I've yeah had, with you. I've had something dark with you. I've had some really bad experiences with you. You have to be in a mood for the dark stuff. Oh, thank you. Root beer. It is 70. Look. Oh, you were right. Yeah. Well, no, I no, don't look. Ingredients dark chocolate 94%. It says 94% dark chocolate in there. I, I don't like the chocolate. I don't like the lemon. I really don't like anything. I really don't like The one with the toffee was okay. Yeah. I don't like any of them at all. Um, I wouldn't buy any of them. Mm -hmm. Did no. we buy this? I'm pretty sure we bought this on our way back from Scotland into we did. England. We did. We stopped at like a little rest area, just a potty break for it. Yeah. And then we bought it. It was like a W.H. Smith, is it? Could have been one of those, yeah. It could have been. There was any, one that had two stores, and one of them was a W.H. Smith, and the other one was something else. Anytime we went in one of those W.H. Smith, there was always something new that I found. That we're that is, because, you know, I'm sure if you live there, this stuff is very common. Like over here, we you go in a speedway little debbie cakes are very common but for us going in um, we've never seen any of it so it was like every time i went there was something new that i spotted so these were one of the things i spotted um probably I would, probably shouldn't have i would yeah <laughs> i would should. pass on them I, yeah. you know what i liked the union jack on the box yeah that attracted and, your attention and the names got me the, you know the eaten mess and the apple crumble just the names of them got to me um I just, they were appealing to me. I'm going to save you all some money and tell you, don't buy them. I wouldn't try. I, if you're going to try one, I would try the toffee. I would leave the other ones in the store. And there's better candy bars out there, so I would just skip them all. Much there. better, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to have a close-up um, at the end. You really can't see, like, the pudding part in the middle, but I'll just show you the tops of the candy bars. So uh, thanks for watching.